the next step in the transformation of this site into the Ontario place of tomorrow. Et aujourd'hui, c'est avec grand plaisir que je lance la prochaine étape de la métamorphose de la place d'Ontario. It begins with a global search for a partner or partners with the best, most remarkable concepts that will bring this site to life. Our government, through Infrastructure Ontario, has engaged KPMG and Colliers International to support us as we invite partners from around the world to submit development co concepts that will help achieve this new vision. We want to hear from individual companies, organizations, teams or consortia teams with the right experience and capacity to design, implement and operate their proposed development of this site. We want to see development concepts of the highest standard, a vision that celebrates our past, our present and inspires our future. Nous souhaitons voir des concepts de développement répondant aux exigences les plus rigoureuses, une vision qui rende hommage à notre passé, célèbre, célèbre notre présent et inspire notre futur. I'm inviting all interested parties to visit ontarioplacedevelopment.com for more information on how to submit proposals. Participants who submitted proposals over the past few months will have the opportunity to augment their concept based on the information we're releasing this with today's call for development. A winning concept will be financially viable and sustainable. It will align with our government's vision for this iconic piece of Toronto's waterfront. The development of the site will encourage investment by sending a clear message that Ontario is open for business and open for jobs. Our government's commitment over of over $10 billion for the new Ontario subway line further underscores our commitment to ensuring the success of Ontario Place. That means as part of the process that we'll consider a broad range of ideas from sport and entertainment landmarks to public spaces and parks, recreational facilities and retail. But I want to be clear, our vision for Ontario Place does not include residential developments or casinos. Once again, I want to repeat that. Our vision will not have casinos or condos included as part of the Ontario Place site. I'm pleased to announce the beginning of this process and I'm excited to work toward developing, redeveloping Ontario Place. Today marks an important and exciting chapter in the development of Toronto and Ontario. Aujourd'hui marque le début d'un chapitre important et passionnant dans le développement de Toronto et de l'Ontario. We will be building a legacy that will reflect who we are as a province. Ontarians want an Ontario place to be the best it can possibly be. We have a real opportunity here to unlock the great potential of this site as a world-class destination that can draw Ontario, Ontarians, Ontario residents, the residents of Toronto, and of course tourists from around the world. I'm excited to see the innovative ideas that will be coming forward through this process. The new site will once again be a testament to our vast potential and will once again be the world's most exciting island. Thank you very much. Merci. And I'd just like to uh, welcome my, uh, my colleague, uh, Minister McNaughton, to say a few words as well. Thank you. Great. Well, thank you uh, very much, Minister Tobolo, and thank you, uh, everyone, for being here. Uh, this morning. Uh, it's uh, an exciting morning uh, for Ontario as we move uh, on to the next stage of creating the new Ontario Place. Uh, as many of you know, I'm from a small town in southwestern Ontario, but I know when my family uh, used to come to Toronto, one of the places we would regularly visit was Ontario Place. But somewhere along the line, Ontario Place stopped becoming a destination. It's time to reignite our imaginations so we can make this incredible place, a true destination once again. Today's call for development is a signal to the market to send us your biggest, boldest ideas for this location. It truly is time to reimagine Ontario Place. We are going to bring Ontario Place back to life and once again make it a spectacular destination, attracting local, 
and international visitors year-round. This could include, as Minister Tobolo said, uh, exciting sport and entertainment landmarks, public spaces and parks, recreational facilities, and retail. For the people of this province and beyond, I'm pleased that our agency is running the call for development and later the procurement process of the redeveloped Ontario Place. We have confidence that they will do a great job. The development of Ontario Place will encourage investment while sending a clear message that Ontario is open for business. We promise to work quickly to once again make Ontario Place a spectacular place to visit and we are delivering on that commitment. Over the coming weeks and months, I'm looking forward to seeing all the promise this site holds come to life. And I'm sure that everyone feels the same way. Thank you very much, and we'll be happy to take questions. Yeah, no, you're, you're exactly right. Um, as Minister uh, Tobolo mentioned, um, we received hundreds of uh, uh, interested parties uh, approaching us uh, regarding uh, the, the redevelopment, uh, and that process started in January. Um, uh, we're holding uh, the firm uh, guidelines that we uh, laid out then as far as the seven and a half uh, acres of, of park space. Um, uh, but again, I want to remind everyone that this truly is uh, an open pro uh, a process. We do want to attract uh, the biggest and boldest ideas from uh, not only Canada, but from around the world to how we can truly redevelop uh, Ontario Place for generations to come. We decided that uh, as uh, a development strategy that the Ontario Place belongs to the public. We want to make sure that it's accessible to the people of Ontario and that it's developed as a tourist destination. Uh, so with respect to the residential condos, that was the, the premise from the very beginning. Um, with respect to the casinos, a decision was made that uh, Ontario Place would not have a casino. Yeah, yeah, no, th thank you uh, very much for that. Uh, it's true, I mean, um, we're going out across the world to seek the, the biggest and boldest ideas. Um, uh, we remain um, focused on the fact that this needs to be led uh, private s by the private sector. There will be no uh, government money when it comes at a capital or operations of uh, Ontario Place. Would you say the credit to Canada's public land is then wise for us to hand over the keys to the private sector to, to run this? And is it really feasible to expect the private sector to put this over the entire revitalization of this place? Look, this is a, a huge opportunity for uh, the people of Ontario uh, to have a redevelopment of uh, Ontario Place. Uh, it's important that we um, activate and engage uh, the private sector. Uh, this is going to be uh, a very, very exciting process uh, that begins today, that wraps up on September the 3rd. So it's a, a very quick uh, turnaround. Um, but we expect uh, there's going to be a lot of big names uh, interested in uh, putting forward uh, ideas. And um, it, it makes sense from uh, a value for money and uh, taxpayer perspective that the private sector uh, steps up and invests uh, their money, but uh, ultimately, um, you know, we'll, we'll go through this process and uh, begin in the fall to review uh, the, the biggest and boldest ideas that come forward. The government has said that they want to make this a world-class destination. There's some who say, once half the full potential of Ontario Place, you need to also incorporate the community to create synergy between the two sites. Are you willing to accept proposals that include visions for the community and Ontario Place together, and are you willing to work with the city? Well, uh, Ontario Place is what is uh, up for uh, a proposal for development at this point. We can't dictate Exhibition Place's uh, uh, position with respect to the overall development. It obviously makes sense to look at the entire site, and we will work collaboratively with the City of Toronto, with uh, John Tory, the Mayor of Toronto, to find the best boldest ideas we can because at the end of the day we're creating a legacy project 
that could be, uh, that we want to be world class, but will be a very important part of the development of the tourism strategy for the province of Ontario. So would, you be willing to, would you be willing to accept proposals that look at those types of things? Look, th this, um, uh, the details of, of this call for development is located at uh, ontarioplacedevelopment.com. It's specifically looking at the 96, 96 acres of uh, Ontario Place. I'll, I'll let uh, the Minister of uh, Tourism, Culture and Sport uh, answer that as well. But look, all ideas uh, uh, are, are generally on, on the table. Uh, for this, um, we uh, said that um, in, in our remarks that uh, that's one of uh, likely the options that uh, could come forward. But again, this uh, truly is about uh, going uh, around the world. We've engaged key KPMG and Colliers International to seek out uh, the most exciting uh, opportunities for the province of Ontario. So the only thing, the only restriction is with respect to residential condos and casinos so uh, that is definitely an option that could be brought forward by what are the proposals that uh, that come forward i think what we would like to see is a, a proposal brought forward that helps build uh, on on what we're here to do to work for the people so whatever proposal comes forward we're looking to make sure that it is a legacy piece that it becomes a, a, a marquee for the province I mean, we have a jewel in Ontario Place. It just needs to be polished, and that's what we're hoping that the proposals that come forward will do. And the spectrum is wide open, sports, entertainment, retail. Um, this is a place that we want to have to be vibrant and to be a place that showcases who we are as Ontarians. Uh, the Premier was very clear when uh, he first came out that he wants this to be the biggest, boldest, most spectacular site that we can build and I think the private sector with its ingenuity and its resources will be able to deliver on that. Look, I, I um, had a, a great conversation with, uh, with Mayor Tory. Uh, this is important that we, we work together uh, to get this right. Uh, there will be um, uh, lots of consultation uh, going forward uh, and ensuring that uh, this truly is uh, a win-win for, uh, for the City of Toronto, for the province of Ontario, but most importantly, for the people. Again, um, what we're doing at this point in time is looking for ideas to come forward and to make it as open as possible so that we can see what type of proposals come, come forward. We were concerned about the condominium, so we put that restriction in place. And the casino, again, we heard from the people and we've included that as part of the, uh, the items that we did not want to see built here. But we want it to be as open as possible, not put restrictions and ensure that what proposals came forward would take into account as many things as possible. But as was mentioned uh, by Minister McNaughton, we will be working collaboratively because again, this is too important to not get right. So we will be working collaboratively with our partners to make sure that we come up with the best uh, proposal, the best solution for turning Ontario Place back into the jewel that it once was. Well, I, I, if I can uh, answer that, I, to me, the Budweiser stage is a, an iconic part of Ontario Place. I mean, I remember Ontario Place as a child growing up in my teens, coming down here and seeing and being mesmerized by the, uh, by, by, by the uh, Ontario Place site. Um, I stopped bringing my kids here, and the only thing that my kids know about Ontario Place is the Budweiser stage. I think we have to preserve it for, the re for, for mo many reasons, but it's a culture, it's part of the culture of uh, Ontario Place, and it's an important part of it. So um, at this point, you know, we'll, the Budweiser and the relationship with Live Nation will continue, and 
We're looking forward to their continued part of, uh, of Ontario Place and its redevelopment. Well, again, from the standpoint of the construction that exists on Ontario Place, we've not put any restrictions. We've left it so that all options are on the table. And we're looking forward to see what proposals come forward, whether it's included, it's not included. That's something we're waiting to see what the private sector sees as a vision in terms of the proposals that they bring forward.